Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today it is time for the eighth update in the deck of planning project plan that was of course studied by Emily and I will have all the info and links for you down below. Yes, I think we all know about by now how this project goes but I have five products that I'm working on at the moment and I am able to roll in something new today which is super exciting so just let's go through my products first one the eyeshadow that has been here since the intro and uh, at this rate will be here <laughs> in the finale this one I think I used this zero times <laughs> this past month I just it is just something that I do not reach for so there is a dip I'm not too far away from pan but it's just I'm just not reaching for it. So if I want to have pan on that one, I should really start to use it. <laughs> but yeah, I will still keep it in. I'm determined to have a pan by the finale. <laughs> so I have, what, two, three months? Three months left. So we will see <laughs> we will see but yeah i have the palette out for other purposes also so i should just but i have a lot of eyeshadows going on right now but anyways yes next item the uh, that was a whole collection roulette so I did not chose myself and that is maybe why I'm not reaching for it but the next one it was a brand new item and this was actually in the mail when I put it in this project but uh, for some reason I have not been marking this product because yeah but I am around here my goal was to use this for the summer months and then roll it out when it gets to drying for my dry winter skin i'm not rolling it out yet i was planning on rolling it out now because the weather is getting colder but i actually yeah it is drying but it also really like does help with rubbing of your makeup so yeah usually if i know i will be wearing a mask I just put a little under eye concealer and don't like put any foundation or anything <laughs> like under the mask but if something happens and I need to put a mask over my full face then this could save it yeah. it I, at least helps a little so I'm still keeping this one in I used around 15 grams since the last update next one was for a black owned makeup brand and i chose Majuria's place magic mini and my goal was just to use every single eyeshadow <laughs> i got lost for a moment eyeshadow at least one time and now i have done it last update I think I only had like the pinks and this one that I haven't used but now I have used them every single one of them so this palette will be rolling out of the project then last time I was able to roll in two new items and I got the prompt nostalgic and I chose this nail polish from Yves Rocher it's kind of like strengthening polish I do not consider them cruelty free at the 
this point, or at least I don't buy from them. <laughs> but this is a very old product from my childhood. <laughs> so it's nostalgic. And I was able to use it a little bit. It's on my nails right now. It has kind of a purplish tint, but you can't really see it on the nails. So Nice one just to toss something on and I have also used it as a base coat. Works like that too. So that is still in and probably I don't think I can finish it but I will keep it in until the end and see how far I can go. Then the last product I rolled in last update was a random color and I got a like dusty purple, grayish purple, and it matched quite well with the Norvina palette, especially in this shade, kind of maybe. <laughs> but I did the same thing as with the Juvia's Place palette, I wanted to use every single shade at least once, and I've done that. I have done that so. This palette is also rolling out. <laughs> so with this one, I didn't do as many looks because there's like a pinky look, a purpley look, and this like gold, coppery look. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> didn't take too much effort, but I'm still glad I got some use out of this one. I used maybe this a few times, a bit more I used this few more times but then the rest pretty much that one time but I'm happy I got use out of this one and then the most it's exciting part rolling two new products in and yes I have my trust deck of cards here and let's give it one more shuffle just to show you I'm not cheating <laughs> and actually let's Let's take out the game board so I can see what I am getting. So two new prompts go from the top. We got Frodo, so that is an ace. And ace is a project graveyard. And I don't think I will have had the project graveyard. So a product that has been in a project previously and I did not hit my goal on that. So I don't think I have too many of those. Well, I mean, I have those, but I, yeah. nothing comes to mind immediately. Then the next one, <gasps> Saruman. <laughs> so that is four spades and that is water. And that I actually drew in the intro and that was kind of not appropriate timing, but now autumn is very appropriate. So, autumn and a graveyard for project from my graveyard. <sighs> yes, I'll have to do some thinking and I will be right back. I have made my choices and uh, yeah, I actually didn't have too many graveyard products. Which was surprising. I had to go through my inventory list and look at hmm, hmm, and then this was all in the categories that I am planning already, like multiple <laughs> items from. But I have my products and I'm pretty happy with it. So for the project graveyard of Frodo, I chose this thingy <laughs> that could have been also a very nostalgic item. But yeah, this is the I Heart Revolution like boutique colored liner thingy. So there is like silver, green, blue, and like looks almost red in camera, but it's like purple. And you can just choose which one you want to use. And this was in the like solar system. Project Pan, and I had the blue for Neptune or something, probably. 
and I failed miserably. I think I wanted to like use it up or something, but you can't see the progress. You can like wind them up but not down. So I failed. So this time I will set usage goals and I think I want to use every color three times. I think that it's that that's enough <laughs> for me. Yeah, three times three times per color and see if they are like dried up or <laughs> still usable. I mean they look like they are pretty tight in there so even if the tip is dried out out it should be fine otherwise but yeah then it will be 12 uses for this whole thing so I think that is enough then for the autumn product I chose what is on my lips actually <laughs> so I really like to wear these browns in the autumn so this is the lime crime whatever velveteens these are called buffy in the shade buffy so yeah 10 times for this one yeah this is like my autumn lip autumn lip for me so these are the new products 10 times three times per color and uh, i'll try to use this one too and we will see how long this one will be here this will be here probably until the end. So yeah, that is my update. I'm super excited to see what everyone else is doing. And I'm also excited to at some point hear what we are going to do with this project next year. I think there are some changes coming, but we will keep doing this next year also. I'm already <laughs> excited about that. But yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!